Hey guys, welcome back. This recipe is truly very easy to make. It is one of my favorite childhood snacks, coconut macaroons. It's just coconut, condensed milk and whipped egg whites. But if you have fresh coconut at home, use that instead of the desiccated ones and I can promise you it will be a lot more fragrant, chewy and delicious. So let's get cooking. This is an extremely easy recipe to make with very simple ingredients. Now I remember as a child uh, going to school or coming back, there used to be a bakery near a house and they used to make these fresh macaroons and the smell was absolutely wonderful. Now although I have used desiccated coconut, if you can get fresh grated coconut, that is far better to use. It will have a very nice rich nutty and a nice uh, creamy flavor or a taste to it. Instead of sugar, I am going to use condensed milk because that gives it a very nice kind of sweetness and a softness to the dish and a tiny hint of vanilla extract. So actually I'm going to add the extract first. Just spoon that over the desiccated coconut and in that goes the condensed milk, sweetened condensed milk. There's something extremely magical about condensed milk. It gives a very very nice flavor. It also binds the mackerel together quite well. So you mix the macaroon, the vanilla extract and the coconut together till you get it almost like a crumbly kind of a texture. Don't want to form it like a dough, literally just fold it together so that the condensed milk mixes it up with the coconut. A little taste. Oh, nice. The next step is actually to whisk the egg whites. Got one large egg, just the whites, not the yolks. If the yolks do happen to go into the egg white, the egg whites will not fluff. They won't become frothy at all. So just make sure that there is no yolk going inside the egg white. And in this, I'm also going to add a small pinch of salt and all I do now is whisk the egg till they become into nice peaks. The eggs are whisked and you can see that they become into peaks. I generally like to put less egg whites in my mixture because I don't like the strong egg flavor. But the egg only helps to aerate and bind it and keep it quite fluffy. So if you do like the egg flavor, you can probably add a two eggs instead of one. The choice is yours. All I do now at this stage is I spoon the egg white into the coconut mixture. All of the stuff goes into the coconut and we gently fold the mixture together. Try and keep it as aerated as possible. And you just gently fold the egg white into the coconut. There, this mixture is now ready. I'm going to now put it on to my baking tray. The mixture needs to go on to this uh, roasting tray I have lined that with a, a rubber mat or a silk pad. You can use a butter paper at home or a parchment paper that works fine. I'm going to use spoons to spoon out my coconut mixture, but you can also use a small ice cream scooper. It works equally well. Or with your fingers, just make it a small little mixture and drop them down. So to start off, here we go. Literally, not much, a tiny quantity. And when you do put them onto the tray, make sure you space them out by at least an inch apart and not close to each other. The macaroons are all into the tray now. This is going to go into a preheated oven at 165 degrees centigrade or 325 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately 25 minutes. There, the macaroons are ready and I must say they smell absolutely wonderful. 
nice fragrance. You get a very kind of a nutty coconut aroma to it. Now, but this I'm going to leave for a good four or five minutes to just cool down slightly and then transfer it into a bowl. Have a little bite. The macaroons are now cooled down. Now, if you handle the macaroons when they are very hot, straight from the oven, they are actually very delicate, they're very soft, they'll tend to break down. Now, once you let them rest for four or five minutes, then what happens is they cool down, they get slightly firmer and they're easy to handle. I'm going to transfer a few onto a little plate and then have a little bite to tuck in. So here we are, let's have a look. When you break it down, you see that it still holds shape quite well. It's got a very nice kind of a crumbly texture, slightly moist, still in the center. But the best part is the taste test. Mmm. Oh. The outside is nice and crisp. It's chewy. It's soft in the center. And absolutely delicious. So these are my childhood snack, coconut macaroons. Make sure you try it for your friends and family. And don't forget to tag me. So until next time, happy cooking.